What's up guys? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are taking a deep dive look at Flex Mode, a very cool feature that's unique to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and Z Fold line of phones. Let me show you a demo of it real quick. Open up our camera app. Boom. We fold our phone, start taking pictures. We now have our preview down on the bottom, shutter controls over here, and an unobtrusive view of our viewfinder. Just a quick sample of flex mode. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at all the system applications that have flex mode that are already pre-installed on your device. I'm also gonna show you guys where on your device you can find this list of apps so you can keep tabs on it so you know when Samsung releases new updates in the future. In addition to that, I'm also gonna show you how to set up flex mode on apps that don't support it. This will work on most apps on your phone, but not all of them, but I'm gonna show you how to do it and you'll be able to tell right away whether or not a particular application supports it. All right, so without further delay, let's jump in to flex mode. All right, first up, we have the calculator application. This is what it looks like in landscape view in the default configuration and not being folded. And you'll see here uh, some problems. So our whole top layer of command buttons here, right? You know, the divide symbol, et cetera, et cetera, coming here from the right is right in line of the crease you know, as you're going along and typing. So it feels kind of weird when you're using the calculator. That's where flex mode comes in handy. So we begin the fold process. You'll see all of our buttons shifted down here, including our left control buttons here. In addition to that, we have a couple buttons that are shown up top here. So let me go ahead and walk you through all these. So this first button is the history. You can go ahead and click on that and delete it. It'll clear it. Next to it is our unit converter. You'll go ahead and click on that to switch between your units of measurement such as temperature, volume, area, distance, etc., etc. And if we go back, this button here will switch between portrait and landscape. So I'll just push it and we'll go back again. Interesting. Um, and probably my favorite aspect of all of this, and it took a while for this to grow on me, is that the backspace delete key is also up top here, this little pinkish purple one up here. So I really like this a lot because as you're typing along fast and doing equations, it's so easy on a traditional calculator in the default configuration to hit that backspace key while you're going fast and not even know it till you're way into your equation. And that really kind of sucks. So having it up here, you actually have to delete it with intent. You know, you're gonna have to move your finger over here to delete it or use another finger while you're typing and get used to doing that. I actually kind of really like it because there's no more accidental deletions. I think they did a good job with this. It looks super clean and it reminds me of like, just having like an old Casio calculator here with the screen here and everything down here. I like it, I dig it a lot. This is flex mode on the built-in calculator application. All right, next let's take a look at the calendar. So I have it in landscape mode right now. You'll see here, this is a default view, takes up the whole screen and you do have items going along the crease. Let's go ahead and enter flex mode. Lift up on the top, take a look at what we have going on here. Everything's subtle, but it's all worthwhile. So our entire calendar moved up top our command buttons here to the left, this command ribbon has now separated to where the top command buttons are not near the crease as well as the bottom ones. On the bottom, we have a list of our events. I have one here for dinner. You'll see them all listed out as you go along. We can add a sticker for that particular day right up here. We also have the ability to do a quick add for your event right there. Enter your time, all the details, and you're done. A great way to work with a calendar, especially when you're sitting at your desk like this and you want to add a whole bunch of events for a particular day, not to mention you can swipe between everything. That's a kicker about this flex mode as well, guys. This always acts as like a touchpad to go between different days, pictures. So that summarizes the implementation of flex mode on the calendar application. Next up, let's take a look at the gallery. So here we are in the default view, again, in landscape mode. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these pictures here. Just some random pictures inside the office here I took for this demonstration. So this is our default view. Now let's go ahead and enter flex mode. Bam, now our preview goes up top. It stops at the crease. All of our functionality is now below the crease. Again, we're not touching the crease at any time to interact with the gallery now. And you have this touchpad like we talked about before to go back and forth between your pictures and if you want to skip a whole bunch of pictures at once, you can just go through your reel at the bottom here. So a real cool way of separating your functionality and your swipe from the actual viewable area of the image that you're looking at. Some pretty cool functionality for the gallery application. We'll quickly cover the phone app because there's not really much to it. While you're in landscape mode, you'll notice that uh, your numbers and stuff are right in the middle of the crease, which can be a little bit frustrating. Interflex mode, it'll just put your keypad down here 
out of the way of the top. You'll have your contacts showing up here. I don't want to make a call. I want to put my personal information on here, but it'll show them up top like you normally would see on your phone and your dialer would remain down on the bottom. Just a simple little subtle touch for the phone application. Next, we have Samsung Free TV Plus. So this is our default view in landscape mode. You'll now have your video that you're playing on the left-hand side and your content that you can scroll through on the right-hand side. Keep in mind this entire time you're going up and down through the crease. All right, let's go ahead and enter flex mode. Awesome. So it takes the video that we're watching, puts it on a bigger viewable area on the screen up top, and we now have all our controls at the bottom, as well as the ability to scroll through different media as well. Pretty cool implementation for watching Samsung free TV plus. All right. Lastly, for the system applications that come pre-installed on your device, I want to cover YouTube. Here's a default view. When you're in landscape for YouTube, you have your viewing area right here. You can scroll through your videos on the right and you can click on a comment right here. It'll show up on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and enter flex mode. Bam. Now our video goes on the top screen, very much like Samsung free TV plus and down here on the bottom, we can scroll throughout the videos. We also have the ability to click on the comments and scroll through the comments while we have the video still playing on the top, completely uninterrupted. The crease is below the video and on top of the comments, you're never going to touch it. A nice way to sit down and enjoy YouTube videos, scroll through the comments, leave a comment if you want. Here you go. Type away. When you're done, it'll be right back to the view you're at and you still have the video playing uninterrupted. Very cool implementation here with YouTube. There's one last thing I want to show you guys before we jump into the settings to show you where these applications live so you know where to keep track of them. And that is, I forgot to mention that while using the camera, you can also use flex mode in portrait mode. So here you go. You'll see here that now our viewfinder here is to the right with our controls. And on the left, we get a dedicated preview for all the pictures we've taken. So if I take a couple more pics right now, right on the fly, go through here. And you can press and hold on any one of these and it gives you options to delete them, share them, all that stuff. So you basically have the preview of everything you're taking on one side while you have your viewfinder and shutter controls on the right. And I think it's a cool little thing about flex mode that I wanted to make sure I shared with you guys. All right. So now that we've covered all the built-in system applications, I want to go ahead and show you guys where in your settings you can find this list of applications as well as how to enable a default version of flex mode for many of the other applications that you install on your device. Let's go ahead and take a look. You're going to swipe down, go into settings, scroll down until you get to advanced features on the left hand side. Click on that. Now on the right hand side, you're going to have this option called labs. Go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to the right just a little bit until you get to flex mode panel. Go ahead and click on that. And what this does is this is going to show a list of all of the applications installed on your device and whether or not you're able to use flex mode with that application and whether or not there's a built-in version of flex mode for that particular application, meaning an enhanced version, like for the calendar in the calculator. So you can see here, I've got some games and Amazon shopping and they have toggles next to them. What these toggles mean are that you can turn on the default version of flex mode and switch it back off. So it does support the default flex mode. And we're going to look at it here in just a moment. Now, as you scroll down, you're also going to see some apps that say doesn't support flex mode like AR zone here. So, you know, right off the bat, don't even mess with that app. You can fold it all you want. There's not going to be anything special about it. And as you continue to scroll down, you're also going to see some apps that say supports flex mode. And you'll also notice so far that these are the same apps that we already covered the calculator and the calendar, because this is where you have your system apps as well in the apps that Samsung has configured the enhanced version of flex mode for. So whenever you see that line there that says supports flex mode, you know that you're in for a nice treat, that Samsung has enhanced that experience and that that application has been designed and optimized for the flex mode experience. So you can go through your device and as time goes on, Samsung may add more to there. So this is a spot where you'll check to keep up to date with all the applications that have the enhanced version of flex mode. Lastly, I want to show you guys what the default version of flex mode looks like if you want to use it for any of the apps that don't have it built in. So, Let's take a look at Google Chrome here. I just switched it off. All right. We'll go home. I'm going to open up Chrome. All right. We're on a Reddit page here. And as we fold the device, you'll see that we have nothing special going on, right? We can scroll the page here. Da da da. Usual affair. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to our settings. The cool thing is, is you don't even have to close out of the application. Just go to your recent apps, go back to your settings, 
Toggle this quick toggle on for Chrome. Go back to your recent apps. Open up Chrome. Now we're going to begin our flex mode fold process. Wait a moment. Up comes a touch panel, a default touch panel that'll let you swipe between images and videos. If you happen to install third party, you know, image viewing apps, video editors, video viewing apps, anything to do with audio and video, you're going to be able to swipe back and forth here. In addition to that, we have the ability to close out flex mode on the right hand side here. And on the bottom, we have some really cool controls. This first one will pull down your notification panel. So if you get something come in, you can take a quick look at it and go right back out. Next to it, I find this to be very handy, is we have a quick screenshot button right here. So whatever app you're working in that supports flex mode, you'll now have the ability to take a quick screenshot without having to do all these swipe gestures with your palm on your half folded screen, nor having to press the volume down and power button at the same time. You just have this quick little command button, boom, screenshot. Next to it, you have brightness and audio controls to adjust your brightness level, as well as adjust your volume right here. And you'll have this default flex mode experience on all of the applications that are in that list that we looked at. All of these in this list that have that toggle, you will get that default version of flex mode enabled. So as you install applications, you can check this list here to find out whether or not it will support flex mode. Last thing I want to mention to you guys before we wrap this up is we have done all these demonstrations on the Z Fold 3. Now, I could have waited until I got the 4 and the Flip 4 coming in. They'll be in shortly. But the thing is, is I wanted to make this video now because I think it's important to share this type of functionality with you guys for those of you that are still on the fence about getting a foldable. And you're trying to discern and basically audit all of the functionality that these foldables can provide you before making your purchase. So I just wanted to show this core functionality. If it changes a lot when I get the Z Fold 4 and the Flip 4, I'll do an update video, but I don't think it really will because this has stayed the same between last year's version and this one. And uh, I don't see it changing because these are baked into the applications. So, uh, but if it does, we'll do an update video. I hope you guys found this useful. This is flex mode for the Z Flip and the Z Fold 4 devices. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.